hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> tattooed on his back is of course a reference to his potent punch power and not in any way insensitive to the tragedy which unfolded in this arena when Ariana Grande performed Manchester will never forget hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there how are you doing it's Big Porky here the voice of hardcore boxing it's that time again helmet of the month been a long month May very long month but the votes are in hmm. you're gonna love this one oh you're gonna love this one in at number 15 Barry Hearn well what can we say about old Bazza I bet you were watching Netflix overnight with a squeaky bum <laughs> he never got a mention did he hmm eh? Good old Baza. Got to give him credit, haven't we? But the silence from Baza lately is golden. So, Barry Earn, pound for pound helmet, Porky's Corner for May 2020. In at number 14, David Diamante. Oh my God, the rimming this guy does around our zone. It's shocking, isn't it? Give your mouth a swirl with mouthwash, mate. Blistering you need, pal. So David Diamante, number 14. <laughs> oh. In at number 13, he should be number one every week. David Costcutter, hey. We all know why we call him Costcutter, don't we? If you want to know, tune in to Ultra Tech Sports Raw YouTube. Now, David A, number 13. Don't make a comeback. I mean... We've had David A, I'll never fight again. He had his arm in a sling seven years ago, was it? Now he's on about coming back again and he's made more comebacks than Frank Sinatra. Embarrassing from David A, totally and utterly embarrassing. Oh. In at number 12, on Porky's Corner, Helmets of the Month for me. It's Big Doss of Femi. Did you see him walking around that, that golf course? What were all that about? Going on about how he'll serve Tyson Fury up and all that. Oh, you seen his CV? His CV's... I don't know, he's been wrapped in cotton wool, hasn't he? He's been wrapped in cotton wool. He fought... Right, like a frightened rabbit against Ruiz. Frightened rabbit. So he hasn't shown me anything that suggests he's going to beat Tyson Fury. So Anthony Joshua, fight Pooler, and then pray that Chisora jobs Usek on points, and then go fight Ilenius because that's the route that they're going to give you. And you heard this first on Porky's Corner. So in at number 11, Ammo Williams. You should be embarrassed. Knocking a guy about who couldn't even put his hands up to you. Hey, what, what good is that? Hey, sparring like that. That's just a beat down. You should be ashamed of yourself. Anthony Fowler, I'm not a fan of, but I hope he punches you upside down and sends you back to Yankee Diddly Doo, whatever they call it. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Go back over there and eat some hot dogs because you should be embarrassed, Amo Williams. You should be embarrassed. So I'm on Williams, number 11. We're down to the last 10. The last 10. Oh, tired. I'm tired, it's 10 past 7 in the morning, right. Number 10. You know why you're number 10, don't you, Penfold? Because of them little videos that you keep doing, them little quartet videos with all your little fake mates I thought you were getting out of boxing I mean where do you where are you heading at moment I don't know where you're heading Coldwell at moment I don't know you need to get Tony Bellew back Tony you need to get Tony back and get some proper dollars made because 
you're going to be lost in the wilderness at the moment, Caldwell. So you're number 10, Caldwell. You're always there or thereabouts, aren't you? With all these votes I keep getting. Have a look. In at number 9, Elmer of the Month. It's Bean! Run a bean, could have been, should have been, never been. Baked bean! Beanie! Creepy bean. Bean, you're always there, aren't you, bean? You creepy so and so. Rumple Stiltskin! Jesus, I don't like to think you were uh, my neighbour, Mr. Bean, Adam Smith, but you just won't go away, will you? You like a bad smell. So, in at number eight, this should be top three every month. It's the body snatcher, Dillian White, the man who only fights people who are over 40. <laughs> Marius Vark, Lucas Brown, and now Povetkin. The, the 40 club. Dillian White, you keep bleating on in these interviews, don't you, about how you've not had your title shot and this and that, blah de blah. You ain't even gonna hear Camayel Ortiz. Well, they've knocked Joshua back. Pool left, you knocked him back. You, if you already had to go over there and fill your shoes, you should be embarrassed, Dillian White. Number eight, Elmer a month. In at number seven, it's Coogie. Coogie Bear. I like Coogan, you know. I've got a soft spot for him, but the silence from Coogie Bear is golden, isn't it, regarding this Dazone affair? I mean, these YouTubers right there have got access to Eddie Earn and that. They don't want to mention it, do they? Say, for instance, I've got access to Dennis all the time, I? but if there's something I'm not happy about, I'm on him like a rash, and yeah, we do have our disagreements, but... Coogan, you're not on Eddie Hearn like a rash, mate. You do ask him quite difficult questions, but you don't Frank Warren, but Coogan, you should be asking Eddie Hearn, what is happening with Dazone? That's all you've got to say. What is happening with Dazone? So, Coogie Bear, number seven. <sighs> I'm tired. In at number six. We don't normally have birds on this channel, but... This one here, Anna Woolhouse, number six. The narrative that this woman, the narrative that this woman is spinning or putting out there, this propaganda, it's, it's shocking. Did you see that interview with Dillian White and her and Johnny Nelson? Oh my God, it's uh, shocking. Anna Woolhouse, element of the month, number six for May 2020. Speaking of uh, Duda, old uh, massive feet. In at number five is Johnny. He's there again, isn't he? Johnny. I don't know. The wheel Johnny Nelson that one. They need to get point across because he's got a bit of credibility because he's an ex-boxer, isn't he? But I think even Johnny's now becoming a bit embarrassed about his bias in it towards Sky. I know Tony Bellew admitted his bias about Joshua but Johnny Nelson's become a bit of a laughing stock in boxing industry and a bit of a laughing stock Kevin let me ring you back I'm just in the middle of doing helmets uh, in at number four the disappearing man himself Tony Bellew the man that just wants to disappear and be left alone God He's been on more TV programmes, chat shows and game shows and done more interviews than he ever did when he was fighting. Every time I turn the internet on, I've got Tony Bellew there. Tony, you're giving me a, you know, ulcer. So Tony Bellew, number four, but how would we cope without Tony Bellew as hardcores? I don't know how we'd cope without him. So, in at number three, it's the white rhino himself. David Allen. David War Allen has got war tattooed on his chest. Have you seen it? War. It's a good tattoo, that Dave. War. David's been calling out Yui Fury and he wants a rematch with Big Truck. Big Pricey, David Price. He never won a minute of any round against Price and Eddie won't put you back in there with him because he might end up getting hurt. So forget that, but... Peter and Yui Fury are up for the fight. Yui Fury's put a tweet out, and I put a video out about six days ago, didn't I, saying 
the, the, the fights and talks, which it is. So it's up to MTK, Eddie and Sky, David and Yui and Peter to uh, to sort a to sort a package out so they can get at it. If Yui loses, where does he go? But I think Yui beats him on points. I think he scores him over ten rounds on points. But where does David Allen go if he loses? Well, Dave Allen's not going nowhere, is he? Well, if uh, uh, he's popular, he can keep losing and just keep fighting on Sky. But my argument with this with David is this. When he got beat against David Price, I mean, David Price we're talking about here. When he got beat against him, everybody was saying that he should go back to the beginning and start again. Because David's level is central area stroke English level. Because if Daniel Dubois is British champion, you'd have... Him to beat Dave Allen, wouldn't you? Cash Alley's Central Area champion. I don't, know, I don't know if he's got a belt now, but Cash has won a Central Area. So if Cash is Central Area, Daniel Dubois British level, David Price is English British level. If he did that to David Allen, why would David want to put his Senate mix with Yui, who, in my opinion, is Euro level, right? So that's as far, that's as far as I'm concerned. So. He shouldn't be in there with Yui, he'd get schooled. But it's a tick of a fight for Yui, and Yui will beat him. And then look to make Euro stroke world level fights. So Yui's got time in his hands, isn't he? He's three years younger than Dave Allen, so. But if you know, David gets paid, it's a good fight, isn't it? And if I'd played my little part in it, you know, I'm happy with that. So, alright, I noticed other people were putting videos out after my video, so. Alright, so that's good, isn't it? So. I wish both fighters all the best, David and Yui, I know them both personally, they're both good kids, Yui doesn't say much, Dave's got plenty to say for himself, I wish he had as much energy in his training, he'd be a great fighter, but... In at number two! <laughs> it's Eduardo! Do you know why Eduardo's had all these votes in Elmas this month? I'll tell you why. Yeah, this is off one person, this is off Julie. No. I'm picking Ed, Eddie Russell because of all the videos he's done from his bedroom constantly contradicting himself and just on the internet all the time so it's Eddie for me that's just one email so what can we say about Eddie Earn right look he's a salesman isn't he he's a salesman but he rubs everybody up the wrong way doesn't he but does he care no do I care about rubbing up people the wrong way no, I don't care. I laugh. So, nobody seems to want to come on channel and say, why do you say that? Let's have you on, all you people who are bitching. Come on channel and say, I didn't like that. So, Eddie earned silver medal on Porky's Corner, Albert of the Monks for me. It's that time, innit? So, let's go down from number number uh, 15. Barry Earn, 15. David Diamante, 14. David A, 13. Anthony Joshua 12, Amo Williams 11, Dave Caldwell 10, Adam Smith 9, Dillian White 8, Coogan Cassius 7, Anna Wallow 6, Johnny Nelson 5, Tony Bellew 4, Dave Allen Bronze Medal 3, Eddie Earns Silver Medal 2, and the number one gold medalist, the gold helmet of the month, the helmet of champions, can only go to the one and only. Big John Fury. He smashed it with 194 votes. Smashed it. Nobody got even near him this month. Why? I don't know. Probably because of them videos he did, an outburst. But I think John Fury will want to put May 2020 behind him, won't, won't he? Probably get me in an headlock when he sees me now. But I do know John Fury, so I think I'll be alright. But John Fury... Helmet of the month, you've been voted on Porky's Corner. Nobody escapes the helmets. If you get the votes, you are in. <coughs> Nobody else has got the gonads to uh, put John Fury in their videos and say what I say. But you've had the votes, John, and some of the stuff that people are saying here. But nobody's saying uh, 
that you don't want to fight this Mickey Theo guy, but it hadn't happened, has it? After all them outbursts and all them viral videos, it's not happened, and I think you've come out and it looking a bit bad. But if there's a problem, get your agent, Spencer Brown. Pick up the phone, Spencer. You're more than welcome on my channel, and we'll have a chat. All right? So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. All right? <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>